Hey, you want some freedom? back to the valley in a little bit. You think you can help us out? No? Well, I saw that you were doing, um, you guys are doing personal taxis here with private people, so I just thought I would get in on it. So, is that, uh, is that standard procedure? Are you guys taxi around people and wait for I'll be your gun, Jenny, t Jenny Lynn. There wasn't a ride along. Somebody got dropped off with there. At a bar. Yeah, at a, yeah, at a bar. You guys do like a safe ride program for like drunk drivers? Like, this, that'd be kind of cool. Right? Sometimes maybe. Said I'll be a gun, Jenny Lynn. <laughs> but if somebody puts in your car, do they do their deposit? Or... <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh. <laughs> Enforcement and they're allowed. They're allowed to park wherever. They're allowed to park in a red zone and give tickets for people being in the red zone. It just seems a little hypocritical. Well, come on. <laughs> come on. I mean, you have to ask our supervisors. I guess if they're having to do the jobs and they put their lights on, I don't think they're allowed. Just like we could stop someone. Well, what if I was doing my job and I put my hazards on? Would I do with that? Did I get the beauty at that point or not really? I probably get a hundred dollar ticket. What's your job? I don't answer questions. <laughs> 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 no, you're you're a good dude. My uh, my name's Johnny, yeah, by the way. What's 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 your uh what's your badge or what are you? I'm a deputy sheriff uh West Hollywood. So you guys got uh, ARs Kyle. You got, you got ARs and shotguns? Uh we some deputies are trained on the ARs. Uh, I'm not. So I'm, I'm not either, but that wouldn't stop me. I am. That wouldn't stop me. Where are y'all from? Bar. Uh, <laughs> I'm from Boston. Oh, well, some states. He's a, he's a former Marine. So. Oh, really? Yeah. I respect that. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, Sorry, sir. Thank you for the respect. I'm, I'm, I'm still in the Air National Guard. Oh, yeah? So I, I'm still deploying. I'm still. How, how long have you been in? Um, I've been in 19 years total. But Jesus I Christ. Doing, so. Are, are you uh, enlisted or commissioned? Enlisted. Yeah. So you're up. You're all the way up there, huh? Well, not all the way up there. Well, not, hey, you know who the most famous airman in American history is? Um, don't tell me. Um, James Stewart. All right, second most famous? Bob Ross. The painter who likes to put the nice little machine guns next to the hills. Next to the what? You remember the painter in the 80s, Bob Ross? He liked to do the, the landscapes and stuff like that. You know, I want to we'll put a happy little bush over here. We'll put a happy little Why bush over there. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, he was. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, that was awesome. He retired as an E9 in the Air Force. Wow. That's and that's and awesome. he was a hard ass, yeah, which yeah. a lot of people like, won't believe. It was a total 180 thing for him to do that whole art project. Yep. It's like, you know, I killed a thousand people, so now I'm going to, like, you know, something totally different. <laughs> uh, we're doing a live stream right now, and there's some ladies that are noticing something right now. Um, I'm not going to point any uh, fingers. <laughs> well, thank you. Ladies, ladies who's single, well, uh, thank you. But it is the city of West Hollywood, so I mean, you know. I ain't about that <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Well, there you go, guys. We found one uh, good deputy and one well, shitty parking enforcement agent. But well, here's the thing with the city of West Hollywood. Because of the diversity of the city of West Hollywood, they get different, I mean, there's a different level of screening required to be here in, in the city of West Hollywood. Or, I mean, as far as your sensitivity to alternative lifestyles, the LGBTQ, you know, and all that, is there any additional training there? It's all good, Bill. No word. Standoffish. <laughs> now he's gonna start demanding the ID and throwing us on the ground. Right, right. <laughs> I'm not just for the record. Uh, we have a lot of paperwork we have to do. Okay. So this is right in the DUI from last night. Okay. Uh, so I'm not okay. just goofing off. No, 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 no. We're not. Listen. Paperwork. So it's better to do it here in the car and then kind of keep an eye on things. Ready to go, right? What's the trick? So, how long have you been in the city of West Hollywood? I've been here for the last year. I've only been here for four months. Really? I was out in, uh, you know, Malibu and Calabasas. Sure, sure, sure. Did they share something? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, what's the craziest thing you've seen in four months here? See people doing donuts in the middle of the Sunset Strip with all this traffic right now and stuff? Well, we had I a guy. I saw it on Hollywood Boulevard on Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I think guys, this is one of the best deputies we've ever run into. <laughs> and he knows his shit. Daddy Ice, though, he said he was doing paperwork for the DUI that he did last night. This is what not to do. You, you crash your car, or you you come and investigate other people's crashes. <laughs> Okay, well, no, I just need to clarify. I mean, you know, like, so. Okay. And, uh, this is what happens. I don't know if you can see it. This is what happens when you drink a lot and then walk across the middle of the street. Oh! Holy shit. Wow. Well, the only reason I'm showing it is because... Public safety. Well, public safety, yeah. number one. And number two, miraculously... The guy got out of it with nothing but scratches. Isn't that always the case with drunk people? You know, and I, like I always call, I always call BS when people are like, "Oh, if you're drunk <coughs> in a car wreck, you relax and so you don't get injured." I'm like, "No, plenty of people die in DUI wrecks." Like, but it, it appeared to work in this situation. A lot of times, I've, Diddy I lady got annihilated. A lot of times, that is true. A lot of people, people that are highly intoxicated, they make it. And unfortunately, other people get hurt. So. Right. I drank a whole bottle of cough syrup earlier. I can't feel my feet right now. <laughs> Where are y'all from? If you're allowed to say. I, I, I live in North Hollywood. Are you from out here originally? I'm, I'm from Boston. I'm from New York, but I've been out here like 28 I years. I live in Boston. Boston. I'm just out here oh, for a... Uh, yeah. I'm out here yeah. for some... Um, the city of Van Nuys uh, <laughs> decided to take it upon themselves to invite me back out here he through the prosecutor. He, so. he brought a case for filming. In a, D in a DMV. Well, yeah. I mean, well, we're gonna, well, that's what we're here to... Yeah. They're trying to get me with um, interfering with a public agency. Well, I can't it, say about that. Uh, yeah. 
He could. He, he could. just he won't. <laughs> so, uh, the the way, well, first of all, I mean, I carry a tape recorder, but I need to get a camera. The city, because so, um, you guys, okay, so you guys, to tell everybody at home a little, and myself, you guys are contracted with the city of West Hollywood, but you're still LA County sheriffs. Yes. Okay, so it's just a, a paperwork thing that makes you here at this jurisdiction. But there's you you could in theory be like you said, just out in Calabasas or Malibu or yes, sir. okay. Well, the uh, like uh, we're at the uh, LA County, so we patrol the entire county of Los Angeles. Right. But to the West Hollywood, they could <clears throat> hire their own police force, but they elected to uh, contract with us to pay us to patrol their city. Right. So, and that's so, always is that has that always been the case for the city of West Hollywood? Do you know or? I'm not sure. It's been that way a long time. Right. No, because I've been out here 28 years, and I've I remember uh, you guys always being here. So here's a good question for you, deputy. Yes, sir. Do you know where a sheriff gets his power? Um, I, me personally, is that my opinion, it comes from the Constitution. Number one. In state law, number two, which follows the Constitution. Do you know that so the you sheriff? Can actually, tell me what your perspective. Is. You're actually 100 percent right. The Constitution is where the, the sheriff gets his power per the uh, Tenth Amendment, um, and the sheriff is actually the original law enforcement that was hired for the people. A police force is actually a corporation. They're not. They're not elected in. They're. they're put in place by a, a committee, as where a sheriff he's elected. Therefore, he actually has more power than a police force, the state police. Uh, so, interesting. Uh, well, you're educating me. I appreciate you telling me that. And, uh, who, that's who what is, we're here for. <laughs> was there, just, there was just an election for sheriff, correct? Who, I don't think it's finished yet, is it? I don't know. Because um, I know Lee Baca is going to prison, or I know he was appealing and he was just dying of cancer over. or whatever, and, and, and also the under Sheriff Tanaka. I mean, that's got to be. That's got to be a blow to morale at some point, right? I mean, I mean, a fish stinks from the head down, right? And if 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 your number one and number two guys are going to prison, I mean, is it sort of like a like a high school where you got a, a substitute teacher? You know what I mean? And, and, and no, you know what I mean. Like nobody's I don't in know, charge. But no, but, uh, you know what I mean? Like generally, when they put the act on, he, they're not as personable as this one. I just try to do the right thing. <laughs> I mean, no matter who's in charge. Right, and is it and is it that difficult, really? You know what I mean, like. It, well, that puts you in a hard position too, because right. say you get somebody above you that doesn't see it like that, and they just want you to say, "Hey, throw him in the in the back of the car," and you say, "Well, sir, he hasn't done anything wrong." Well, I don't care. Throw him in the back of the car. Right. That you know, that's you trying to be a good officer. Well, uh, and, and, and you know, it is, is being a good officer really losing your career, or because I know that they screw you guys hard for being good cops. You know what I mean? Well, in a rare event, a supervisor tells you don't agree with, and you just tell that supervisor you don't agree with it, and then you don't accept it. Yeah. You take, you take the, the punishment. It's rare that that's happened. Usually they tell you to do the right thing, in my experience, yeah. with my supervisors. Well, you know, too, the difference between a lawful order and an unlawful order. Sure. You know what I mean? So. Luckily, I'm, I, haven't, I haven't had a supervisor give me an unlawful order, but if Unlikely event that happened, and I would just tell them to disagree. I wouldn't do it. If it violated the law of the Constitution, I wouldn't do it. Jesus Christ. This guy is fucking giving me a fucking liberty no, no. boner. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, no, I believe no, it. That's no, why no, I'm we, saying we, you're giving me a liberty boner. With a lot of police. We don't get answers like that. No. We get the run around. Well, but we're also talking to a, a veteran. Yeah. Too. You know, well, so we've also found out too that not a lot of them. Thank you for your service. Thank you for yours. Marines is like that's on another level. Yeah, you got blown up with an IED. Are you serious? Yeah, 155 attached to a 120. I was uh, about 30 miles outside of Fallujah doing a week long mission protecting a Saudi Arabian judge. It was the first time in the history of that part of the world where they flew somebody in from another country. And uh, for about a week long, I uh, was his personal security. Went everywhere with him, barely ate, barely sleep, slept, uh, standing 115 degree rooms, full body armor, rifle, 20 or 30 minutes outside of Fallujah, boom, nailed us, threw me 15 feet out of the Humvee, threw him into my seat, threw the driver out of the out of the Humvee, 
uh, ripped half the gunner's face off. How many people survived that were in the Humvee with you? We all survived, um, but five of us. Step or, out if you don't mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four of us went home and. Uh, and Just want you to do a quick pat down on us, a Terry search. <laughs> God bless you. I appreciate that. Appreciate that a lot. Um, but yeah, it's a, it, it was a job at the time. It was my job. I did it, and you know, I fucked it up, but. It is what it is, you know. Well, it's not. I wasn't your fault. You know what I mean? Like. No, I, I was the one. What happened was I have an honorable, honorable discharge from the military. When I came home, I went to a party, told my buddy to roll a joint. He laughed at me. I said, "Roll the joint, or I'll fucking kill us both." Uh, he laughed again, so I tried to kill us both. He rolled the joint, smoked it. Next day, went down, popped on a piss test. So, it was just marijuana. I didn't do anything. You know, I was, you know, stupid fucking Marine Corps zero tolerance policy. Okay, whatever. Um, I actually ended up meeting General Petraeus. He handed me a coin for excellence in combat. Um, meritoriously promoted twice while in service. You know. Right. So. Back to the last place. Oh, yeah. What was your name again? Kyle. If you can tell me. Kyle. Kyle David. David. Well, it was nice to meet you, Kyle. Nice to meet you, too. Nice to meet you, sir. Tell, you, sir. tell me your last name again. David Rachel. Rachel? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Cool, cool, cool. Awesome, man. Listen. We'll let you get back to work. Yeah, you yes, were sir. great. We got uh, a bunch of people watching and All a bunch right. of people that are... Yeah, we got nothing but positive comments on you, so... You guys got a Facebook page? Uh, me? The, uh, West Hollywood uh, Sheriff, you know sir. What? What's the best way for somebody to give you a uh, commendation? Uh, rather than tie it up... I'll give rather... you my card. All right, yeah, all right. Thank you. No, I respect what no, y'all are doing. It, it, it's, it's rare, I mean... It really is rare. We're supposed to do everything like... The like everybody's watching anyway, so. You wanna hear something really funny? Like the camera's rolling in. But, yeah. Uh, back home, the department that I film, they they don't like me at all. Um, last week I there don't was like a, you at all. Yeah, but. <laughs> <laughs> I tolerate so, you. Um, last week my cousin had a protest because they uh, they messed with him they uh, over his daughter and stuff like that. And uh, I was down there filming for him. My other cousin was there, and she was talking to two of the officers. Two of the officers straight up admitted to her that I have made quite a few of those officers look bad. And the superintendent, we, we don't have chiefs out there, we have superintendents, told everybody that whenever I'm known to be on the street, they're to act differently. Why wouldn't you act like that all the time? You know what I'm saying? Right. So I know you can't comment on that, that's but okay. that's just a... No, uh, I mean I need to get a camera. I have a tape recorder. Do yourself so a favor. Everything I do, like no matter what happens, first thing, we'll, we'll just say there's an incident uh, where somebody files a complaint or whatever, fight or pursuit. First thing I do is just turn the tape recorder over and just to my supervisor, hey, you know, sometimes I screw up and I face discipline. So I didn't do it the right way, but it's the way you learn. If, I would never intentionally do something wrong. Where are you from originally? Virginia. Take, Virginia? Yes, sir. You got a little southern. <coughs> I've been out here for a while. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, here. If you go on Amazon or eBay, look for a Campac 4K camera. What is it called? Campac, Campac 4K. They're it's like a little cool. GoPro. Okay. Um, they're like 50 bucks. Okay. And you'll get a crap load of stuff with it. I'm actually surprised that, you know? the, that the city of West Hollywood wouldn't... Give you guys those. I mean, in this day and age of... of because the, that, that video is for your protection mm -hmm. as much as... Ever, right. You know what I mean? Then what they say, oh, you know, blah, blah, blah. You know, he did this, he did that. Just so you see what we're seeing. Don and respect for his fellow man. Right here is the general police right. officer. Oh, thank you. All right, I'm going to uh, turn. I'm going to turn the camera around to him. You guys can type messages. We got 245 people in there. Oh, nice to meet you. So, uh, <coughs> yeah, awesome man. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. Yeah. I'll let y'all do your thing. Hopefully, it'll be something exciting. <laughs> but yeah, if you ever need anything. Um, just give me a call if you like want to do a ride along or anything like that. Just uh, let me know. Awesome. I don't have to worry about my supervisor. But they, I don't see why they need my wallet. Uh, you got associate veteran, but no, no offense. Yeah, you no, know, I'm just a dude. As far as I'm, I'm just no, a dude. No, <laughs> no, no, it's my words, not yours. No, no, ditto. No, he, he's a douche. Unless my su unless the supervisor says you can't, you're always welcome. To come. Can we pack? Um. <laughs> can I hold the shotgun at least while we're driving? <laughs> Come on, you could have the you could have the, uh, the the lock on it. We just want to like run around and do some summer somersaults on Sunset. I'll Boulevard. do a couple combat rolls with it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Get it on camera. Uh, 
It's really nice to meet you. Yeah, it was. Yeah. So, I don't, I don't want to be rude. I just no, no, not at all. Hey, you got a job to do. You got any juice to get, get him off his case in Van Nuys? Yeah. Hey, how about that, huh? <laughs> Come on, man. You just said if we could do anything for it. <laughs> I got like ten bucks for it. <laughs> no. Hey, you know what? It's part of the. It, it's part of the the territory. Yeah. When you when you when you're an activist, people aren't gonna like when you speak up and and and, and go against the flaw. And I understand that. And the, the sad thing about it is, is I've educated myself to where, okay, bring me into court. Br bring me into court. You know what I mean? Um, I'm going to tell my attorney what the hell I want done. Right. It's going to get done that way. And the whole time I'm out here, I'm going to make your police force feel like a bag of ass for it. Yeah. Not you necessarily, but... You have the right to... Well, to Listen, Matter of fact, if I had a camera going right now, I'd have my camera on. Absolutely. Yeah. And we, we, we turn the screws on cops when cops come at us sideways and people are like, oh, you guys are just assholes and antagonists. And I'm like, well, that's something like a five-year-old. I'm like, they initiated. Like, you know, everything was cool with us. And so we're all cool with each other. So appreciate it. You don't seem rude to me. It, you came. Good. You came to us as a human being, though. Yeah, we've right, had. We've right. had people. No, no, we're not kidding when we say, "Listen, if you go on my channel, Monkey Eighty Three, one of the very first videos I have, one minute in, the officer is in my face, demanding ID, accusing me of reaching for his taser, getting on the radio, and saying that I'm there intimidating him and a witness. When charged all I'm doing with, is this charged right here. with three felonies. Somebody was injured, and he was filming in a public area, and he was like, "No, it's like HIPAA stuff," and you're like, "No, HIPAA does." And, and where I started filming, I was from us to that that tele that uh, pull away. Like I gave them distance. You know what I mean? Three felonies. Didn't go anywhere. But... Yeah. Dismissed. No, but still. Yeah, I had to take the time out of work, and you know what I mean. But now, that department knows me by name. <laughs> you know what I mean? So. Well, I right. appreciate what y'all do. Cool, man. Uh, we appreciate so what you do. Thank you. For Stay service, safe, man. sir. Please. You have a card. Yeah. Uh, yeah. My email's on there. Your email's on there. Anything, just email me. Cool. Cool. All right, see you now. Even if like we want like some you know undercover like you know f something from the evidence room. Can you do a no knock warrant <laughs> on my neighbor? <laughs> nice to meet you. All. Thanks, man. Have a good night. See all you guys. Good see. Professional officer. Female.